Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Warren McPeak for the Psycho Zaku. Um, I think I do fairly well with it here. It's There's a lull in the middle where I don't do great, but otherwise, pretty good. Tagged with that shot, and we are in the uh, resource satellite, I believe it is, which is a, you know, an open space round with a lot of rocky things to hide behind. Which is good uh, good for me, good for the Zeongs too. There's at least two on our team and two on the enemy team, I believe. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that are going to be playing hit and run, which is kind of what the Psycho Zaku is there for. It is fast. It has a lot of high damage weapons. It is kind of a, it is kind of a space camp for when you get down to it. Right down to a certain amount of fragility. I... I, the first couple of times I played this lately, I have gotten so focused and just murdered, and it was not great. I was real, I've been really lucky in this round that there were not, or matter of fact, this whole day, that there were not a lot of GPO-4s out. Because the GPO-4, as a support, can murder the Psycho Zaku, which is a general. So, yeah, no GPO-4s here, or if so, I never, you know, butted heads with them, so that is the good news. It's been more of a Zeong day, as you can see. Two on each team, at least. It was pretty good. I think that was... Can the Mudrock go into space? I think it can. I think that was a Mudrock that took a couple of shots at you. But it was something with shoulder cannons, which almost got to be Mudrock at that point. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it is, Psycho Zaku is still decent, but yeah, like I said, GPO Force will, uh, will kill it, so not always a smart idea to take it out in unlimited rounds like this. If you can find a 500 round for the level 1, probably a better idea. I accidentally stunned one of my allies, so next thing to do is go after that Zeong, so hopefully they can minimize the damage to it. See, it is trying to hit me now, which I would after I t uh, took that shot, but it's 3 on 1 here, so I think that Zeong's going to go down. See, did I? Yeah, totally missed with the uh, Sturmfausts. And one thing I do like about the Psycho Zaku just conceptually is the fact that, ah, got that kill. Didn't, I was going to try and get out of my mobile suit and go after the enemy base. Didn't quite have time to get out. Um, you're going to see me fail at that again in a minute, but in a different way. Uh, but I just like the Psycho Zaku conceptually that except for the Beam Bazooka, all of the, its weapons are paired. I just think that's neat. I wish it had twin heat hawks too, just to kind of carry that forward, but can't have everything. Speaking of wishes, I kind of wish somebody would have captured A, because if we're going to be right up in their face at the enemy base, having that uh, waypoint would be very useful. As it is, I don't get in in time to rescue number two. I wanted to go try and help them fend off whoever this is, but I did not do it, and I'm going to miss a couple of good shots on this Gelgo Gizet retreat, sadly. I can, however, outpace it, because I have a lot more boost, and I think I'm a little bit faster, so... If I stop trying to fire on it from f way too far out, I can get close enough to shoot. Especially since it is uh, it is going to go join the Fracas here at the base, so... It's a great opportunity for me to charge my uh, Beam Bazooka and hopefully get a hit. Did not get a hit. That's a shame. I If I... It, I was trying to aim around that GPO-2 shield. I probably would have been better off just picking a different target entirely. And now I'm a little bit surrounded and taking a lot of hits. Was trying to find and land a few machine gun bullets on whoever that was uh, who was nearly dead. Did not do it. Right now, trying to make uh, my way to the enemy base and bomb it. That is just as a spoiler not going to work. But I, I do try. Let's see... My mobile suit's been destroyed. I am now going here without using my boosters so I don't show up on their map, but I think it must be the GPO-2 that finished me off, or they've all figured it out, because my mobile suit may have sit empty long enough for them to tell it was empty after I escaped. Either way, they are guarding their base, and I am, you know, sneaking up on it to no real effect. I, at this point, I probably would have been better off just heading for that Ago over on my right and taking that instead and doing as much damage as I could while I could. But, no, I'm going to try and bomb the base, and it is just not going to happen. The good news is, and isn't it neat the giant rocks can just bonk off of your pilot with a metallic noise? That is great. But, yeah, I'm trying to get there. GPO-2 is standing guard. I basically do not have a prayer because... 
Because space is more complicated, one of the bones they throw you is that they make the approach to the uh, bombing console wide open so it's easier for the enemy to uh, come after you. Fired my bazooka, hit the, uh, hit the giant thruster I'm next to rather than GPO2. Knocked myself back here. Recovery from a knockback uh, like that in space as a pilot just takes forever. So I am about to do something very foolish, but you know, I think has, it has figured out I'm here. But I am basically, since it's watching so closely and just hovering right here, I'm going to shoot its feet, do all of 700 damage. And he's going to figure out while, where I am while I'm still recovering from being down. And I'm dead. Yeah, so that is my little uh, excursion there in the middle of the round. Did not go great, but it happens. And I will be back in soon because my mobile suit has long since respawned. So at this point, we've still got we've still got about a what 1,600 point lead. So we're gonna we're gonna have to watch it a little bit more. But at least I'm back with my team where I can hopefully do some okay damage. I really would have been better served, and the team would have been better served if I just stayed in my uh, machine the whole time re uh, and respawned with it. But you don't always make the right calls, especially when you're try when you've decided you want to try and bomb a base because reasons. But let's see, decided to zip down a little bit because I have been shot in the back a lot lately while trying to fight somebody. So when I saw that one person behind me, I decided it was time to leave. Let's see, you got a shot in. Don't think did I get the kill? No, I got the assist, but I'll take it. I feel like I should have gotten that kill, but oh well. Zeon coming through, Zeon getting shot, hopefully. Nope, went wide, expected it to go a different way, but it is hugging the rock to uh, make as much use as, of it as possible for cover. Going with the Zaku machine gun for a little bit, now there's a bomb at our base, which is actually a problem, because at this point value, as you can see, they could mostly catch up and possibly then some, so... At some point, somebody is going to have to go after that bomb and defuse it. It is not me. Um, I am going to stay here and try and keep the fight up because, again, if we can just widen our lead when we get, uh, while we have a chance, it's going to help. Caught the swing, killed the Zeong, and the Psychozaku does have a double dodge roll. I'm not making very good use of it this time, but I, I'm doing okay with my weapon cycling, which is a tough prospect sometimes. That GPO2 is dead. Um... Okay, maybe we don't need to defuse the bomb because we've managed to widen our lead to where it doesn't much matter. But well, that's good. Let's see, there's that Gilgo again. I missed it. Caught it just as it was evading. Did not get it with the bazooka. I think, yep, allies got it. So now it's time to pick another target and just go as hard on it as I can in this last 10 seconds. And... Let's see, there's a Zeong. I hit it. I am not going to have time to kill it, I don't think. Nope, not in three seconds. But I tried. And... Yeah, so I'll be honest, I have been trying for weeks, and this is the best Psycho Zaku round I have gotten, so uh, I hope you like it, Warren. I think I did okay, um, but let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy. And yeah, let me check out my specific stats after I praise my various uh, teammates here, because I think I got a fair number of kills. Well, three kills, two deaths, not, not stellar, but pretty good damage, and I beat my rival. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Uh, we will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I would really kind of like for them to add some more of the uh, Thunderbolt mobile suits to this. I just, If nothing else, just a Thunderbolt Jim and a Thunderbolt Zaku would just be really nice, because I'd like to just have, have some more suits like this at lower costs to mess around with, where I'm a little bit less likely to get demolished by GPO-4s.